What a twist. It sucks. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons the last Airbender film is hated. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going over why The Last Airbender is such a despised film and considered a poor adaptation of its source material. To be clear, we're not saying we hate the movie, but we kind of understand why people do. Number 10. The Tone is Wrong you seem to be having a lot of nightmares lately. You want to tell me about it? Avatar The Last Airbender is a cartoon that expertly balances comedic and dramatic moments, with each mood rarely stepping on the other's toes. In contrast, the movie barely has an intentional laugh to be found during its entire runtime, with an overly serious approach to the material, and the few jokes it does have dead on arrival. <laughs> Katara! Even the dramatic moments fall flat because of, well, a whole lot of things we'll get to later. Bottom line, an adaptation should capture the tone of the source material, and The Last Airbender didn't even try. I'm taking you to my ship. If you don't come, I'll burn down this village. I'll go with you. Number 9. Bad 3D Conversion Should we try it? Yes, we should. Following the boom in popularity of 3D movies in the 2000s, a host of big-budget blockbusters set out to cash in on the craze. However, some of these were actually originally shot in 2D and then converted after completion. The Last Airbender was one such example, and as in the case of other movies that tacked on the extra dimension in post-production, the results were widely panned as drab and unnecessary. The lackluster 3D only further enhanced the perception of The Last Airbender as a shoddy production. You are not dealing with the loss of your people and your responsibility for their deaths. Number 8. Incorrect Pronunciations So, are you the Avatar Ong? The Last Airbender did a lot of disservice to the show it's based on, including dropping Avatar from its title to avoid confusion with James Cameron's Avatar. But one of the more bizarre alterations is the fact that several names and words are consistently pronounced incorrectly. Frequently spoken words like Avatar are butchered, despite being the focus of the story. Worst of all, even the names of main characters like Aang and Sokka are mispronounced. Um, can you hear me? We could understand if the only source material had been a book or a comic, but their names are spoken aloud in practically every episode of the series. It's like no one on set even watched the show. Aang would never turn his back on anyone! Number 7. Bad Directing That child is being arrested. For what? He was bending tiny stones at us from behind a tree. It really hurt. Contrary to popular belief, M. Night Shyamalan isn't the worst director ever. He has a distinctive style that works well for some material, just not for this one. Shyamalan's hallmarks – awkward close-ups, static shots, cool colors, and emotionally distant characters – are all featured here, and feel especially jarring with the kind of warm and adventurous story he's tasked with telling. Shyamalan's inability to alter his style to bring the much more dynamic and light-hearted cartoon series to the big screen is one of the movie's major shortcomings. I can't do this. Number 6. Bad Acting No one is taking anybody away. While it was tempting to put this under the umbrella of Shyamalan's bad directing, the bad acting in this movie is so front and center that it deserves an entry all on its own. Although a few members of the cast, like Dev Patel, do their best with what they're given, the majority of the performances in The Last Airbender make wood seem expressive. Monotone delivery and awkward facial expressions abound, and to be honest, it's hard to take anything seriously when we're trying not to cringe or laugh at the delivery. We should go visit some of these towns, Ong. I need to tell you something. What is it, Ong? I ran away before they trained me to be the Avatar. Number 5. Subpar Fight Scenes Sometimes a mediocre movie can be saved by decent action. This is not one of those times. The fight scenes in the cartoon show utilized bending to complement the characters' movements and create fantastic, well-choreographed scenes. However, by comparison, the bending in The Last Airbender is absurd, requiring flurries of action for very little effect and with very little dynamic movement from either the fighters or the camera. In fact, the fights look more like dances than battles with actual stakes, 
making them yet another aspect of the movie that's hard to take seriously. Number 4. They stuffed the whole first season into one movie. You are not ready! You are too weak! The Last Airbender is based on Avatar's first season, Book 1, Water. In order to condense 20 episodes of television into under two hours of runtime, massive swaths of plot had to be trimmed, including some key information that gives context to what's going on and why, character development, and entire subplots that are important later on in the story. Unfortunately, instead of trying to adapt the story to the new medium, Shyamalan tries to throw in as much as he can, while omitting the smaller things that give the story life. Speaking of which... What is this? Number 3. Exposition Dumping Thanks for bringing Appa to me. The Fire Nation is up to something. I have to go back now. We'll come with you. One of the biggest rules of storytelling is show, don't tell. M. Night Shyamalan must have forgotten about that one, since most of the dialogue in The Last Airbender is devoted to exposition. I'll need to ask you something. I have to talk to the Dragon Spirit. He can help me defeat the Fire Nation. Characters speak to one another almost exclusively in terms of exposition, either outlining what they need to do next, or giving context to actions taken by them or others through ham-fisted commentary, all often preceded by the words, as you know. If you want a story explained to you this way, we recommend Wikipedia. Fools. Number 2. Incorrect Characterization <coughs> A badly told story can still be enjoyable if you like the characters, but The Last Airbender gets those wrong too. The Aang of the source material is a reluctant avatar who loves having fun and feels burdened by his destiny, but his movie counterpart is relentlessly somber. Similarly, comic relief characters Sokka and Iroh lose their goofy natures, and only the latter retains his cunning. Zuko, while accurate in broad strokes, loses all his subtlety, as does the romance between Aang and Katara. Understanding the source material, especially the characters, is essential for an adaptation. So, while we're on the subject of not being able to recognize the characters... Who are you? What's your name? I don't need to tell you anything. Number 1. Whitewashed Characters I probably should get home. Oh, I'll be worried. You not still upset? Not as much as I was. Arguably the most visible thing wrong with The Last Airbender is the casting. The characters in the film are clearly different races than those in the show. Hollywood has a long history of whitewashing roles, but this is one of the most egregious examples in recent memory. We understand wanting to cast people based on talent rather than race, but that's clearly not the case here. Okay, everybody can help us now! Plus, given that the antagonists are all dark-skinned, while the heroes are light-skinned, the implications are really unfortunate. Avatar The Last Airbender has a diverse cast of characters based on many nationalities. Yet the filmmakers threw that opportunity out the window. We could be friends, you know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.